Hi, I'm David Seeley, the Executive Director of Little Shelter Animal Rescue here in Huntington, Long Island. Little Shelter was established in 1927, so we've been around for almost 90 years. Uh, we have our original buildings to prove that, and if we can be around for another 90 years with the improvements of these buildings, that would be really terrific. We were the first no-kill shelter in our area. Little Shelter Animal Rescue was established in 1927 by animal activist Anna Huntinghouse. It is one of the oldest humane societies on Long Island. Little Shelter is located in Huntington on a six-acre property. Our facilities include multiple outside dog runs, two larger kennels, one small dog kennel, a free roaming cattery, and medical facilities. While Little Shelter is looking to expand in ways to help further its mission and the number of animals rescued each year, many of our facilities are in need of renovations. My name is Michael Sarasik. I'm the dog program manager here at Little Shelter Animal Rescue. My job is to bring in new dogs, help do the training with the dogs we have, and make sure we're sending dogs into appropriate homes. Let me show you our first kennel. This is the first impression everyone gets when they come through. Follow me. As you can see, the cages are old and not in the greatest condition. These are our doors. Unfortunately, after years and years of abuse, they've been broken and unfortunately been cut through. This would definitely need to be replaced. Down here on the bottom, after years and years of water and hosing being done, the wall has gotten dirty into the point where it's starting to erode away from the wall. Same with the floor. We have a lot of cracking here. A little bit of rust on the cages as well. Continuing, same issue here. We're actually at the point where the pieces are becoming loose and brittle. On some of the cages, we have a situation where it cannot be perfectly cleaned as we'd like. So it's very difficult to get the hosing done in here. Uh, so in a perfect world, this would be gone and this would just be one piece and stop here. Due to years and years of cleaning, these cages have got to the point where they are rusted as can be on the bottom. So not only is the fencing become a problem, but you could literally move the entire gate off and remove it. Unfortunately, we cannot even use this cage right now due to the state it's in for the safety of the animals.